Welcome to Get Swifty, our three-part course on building iOS mobile apps and macOS desktop apps in Swift and Xcode. By the end of this course, you will have the skills to build your own iPhone and iPad apps, and applications to run on MacBooks or iMacs. If you've been putting off learning how to build your own apps, then this class is for you. If you have never built software for Apple products before, or if you just haven't done it in a while, then you should start the course at part one, where we teach you everything you need to know about the Swift programming language and Xcode, the development environment for building Apple software. The current stable version of Swift as of February 2019 is Swift 4, so that's what we teach here. If you don't know Swift, or you only know an earlier version of Swift, then start at part one of this course. In part one, we teach you all about data types, operators, arrays, ranges, loops, functions, and parameters, and then more complex ideas like classes, structs, and enumerations. And then finally, we dive into Xcode and show you the basics of the interface, file system, controllers, storyboards, and more. For your homework assignments in part one, you'll be challenged to write your own functions and classes in Swift, solve realistic problems, and spot errors in debugging scenarios. After you complete part one, you'll know Swift and Xcode well enough that you'll be ready to jump right in to building real products. So in part two, we get hands on and show you how to build five different mobile apps that can run on iPhones or iPads. We start simple and they get harder as the course goes on. We start by building a calculator and then a color converter and then a simple hangman game, then a flashcard app that uses the core data system, and finally a weather app that gets its data from an external API. For your homework assignments, you'll need to build your own apps as well, different from the ones we show you how to build. We've designed this part of the course to feel like you're working for a startup who needs you to build their product and ship it immediately. We'll give you broad requirements for your app assignments, and you'll be required to design, build, debug, and run your apps just like in real life. To turn in your homework assignments, you'll make videos or screencasts of the apps you built showing off the features, and then send those videos to us, along with your code, for a grade. But wait, there's more. Once you finish learning to build mobile apps, it's time to build desktop applications as well. So in part three of this course, we're going to cover how to build apps for Mac OS. Rather than showing multiple projects, we'll do a deep dive on one project, a tax and tip calculator, and show you where Mac OS UI elements differ from iOS and where they're the same. We'll walk you through the process of hooking up the actions and outlets, programming the controllers, debugging the code, refactoring the code, and more. And again, just like in part two, you're going to have to build your own apps and present them in order to pass this class. If that sounds like a lot to go over, it is. This class is huge. That's why we broke it up into three parts. Each section is still enormous unto itself and requires a ton of hard work to get through. But wait, there's still more. While this course is officially only three parts long, we have over 30 extra bonus lectures that deep dive into various UI elements, and we're going to be releasing those in batches over the coming weeks and months. So after you sign up, watch your email box for updates. We'll be sending you bonus lectures all the time. By the time you finish this course, you will have built at least six apps from scratch. These will be real apps that you can run on your iPhone or iPad, or MacBook or iMac, or you could submit them to the App Store for distribution. If you've been putting off learning how to build iOS apps, then this class is for you. If you know iOS, but you need experience in Mac OS, then this class is for you. If you previously learned to build apps in Objective-C or an earlier version of Swift, and now you want to upgrade your skills, then again, this class is for you. We're going to teach you everything you need to know to get started in iOS and macOS development using Swift 4. No experience required. If you're already a member of purple.com, then this class is already available for you in your dashboard. There's nothing you need to do except log in, go to your dashboard, and click start. If you're not a member of purple.com, 
then sign up for a monthly subscription so you can get unlimited access to all three parts of this course, as well as the bonus lectures, and all of our courses on Node.js, Python, C++, JavaScript, HTML5, and CSS3, and all of our future courses as well. When you become a member of purple.com, you get access to everything we have available. Visit purple.com to get started today.